Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and people of the internet, it's Boss here with you guys another YouTube video back onto my channel and today for you guys I'm going to be doing another edition of Storytime's Fun Time where I talk about things that have happened to me in the past or things I've done in the past for your entertainment and story time form and today for you guys I'm going to be doing about the time I was street racing, so my very first street race. Now before I get onto the video, I want to say yes, I'm playing some Need for Speed just to add some little... Uh, it, that setting to it, but it's really not this. I do not have a Nissan GTR, sadly. I wish I had a Nissan GTR, but without that being said, <laughs> let's move on to the actual little side note that I wanted to do. Um, please do not street race. It is highly legal, and you may get someone injured besides yourself, and also you can get your license suspended, because remember, driving is a privilege, not a right. So please be careful when you're driving, obey the rules of the road, and don't do what I do. And if you're going to street race, please do it like around in Mexico, because in Mexico, they don't have speeding tickets, basically. So that's where a lot of people go, which are like the big channels, like 13, 20 and stuff like that. But that said, let's just move on to the story today. Today is going to be my first time street racing. So the way this story plays out is that it actually happened yesterday of recording this video when me and my girlfriend went to West Palm Beach for our little get together at the week fest, whack fest, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to be calling it week fest for the sake of my, <laughs> for the sake of my story. And yeah, so I went over there. So, um, for those of you guys who do not know, I live in Miami, which is around an hour away, but with my driving, it only took like 40 minutes. So, you know, I'm a pretty good driver and uh honestly my gas my gas oh, it was so bad i think i spent like 35 dollars on gas which made me cry a little bit i mean that's not a lot of money to other people but on gas that's a lot so you know we went over to week fest and i love week fest so much because it's just amazing to see so many people in one little like area with their souped up cars and all that i mean i've seen i've seen a lot of cars in miami that have you know some mods but these guys took that to the extreme i love seeing you know cars that are just built i don't even care if it's considered ricey i i still love it i love seeing people you know enthusiastic about their cars you know if you love your cars i love your cars you know it's respect the whip basically i just cannot hate because if i would do something in my car and someone says that's trash then that that kind of hurt my feelings so i love everybody's car man there's even people who had hookah bars installed in the back of their car and even actual bars like i mean i saw someone who had like a fucking soda fountain in the back of his car you know how fucking awesome that is i can't even fucking hate so i love every single thing that has to do with cars so you know going there was pretty cool and chilling and there was actually a lot of people that wanted to race too there was actually people who were hosting races over there as well but uh when i went inside you know i saw my uh my idol james mcdonald because he has the, the beautiful bmw i8 and other people like dylan who has a 5.0 and stuff like that fast forwarding into the actual race when i was leaving with my girlfriend from the event we bumped into a g37 who was uh, kind of in a hurry and i decided to have some little fun with him and my girlfriend at first was pretty scared of it because she didn't want to die that day Note, again, remember, if you're street racing, you're going to be putting other people's lives in danger as well. Not just your passenger, but people outside because you might wreck. Now, I'm not a trained professional, but I decided to say, fuck it, might as well, right? So when we were street racing, <laughs> a little bit of a street race, I don't even know what to call it. Uh, we just bumped into each other and we were just driving side by side in the express lanes, uh, the expressway lanes, um you know next to each other and we just we just looked over we we're both rolling 60s uh and we just like give us each other like a little nod you know just, just hey what's up bro you want to go you want to go bro and we just gave each other this nod and this dude did not look like older than me at all so i guess we we're both naive little fucks so we we're just like fuck it might as well and this man just launched so you know i was just like all right all right so i put you know i put my car in sport mode and i just launched too we were just surfing through traffic at 100 miles per hour this man we were just going neck and neck and then sometimes he would go first and then i would go in first because you know there's always that variable of traffic going on so we we're trying to surf through traffic at the same time and sometimes we even followed each other to snake through traffic so we can like keep the little race going on and from time to time whenever i would pass him i would just keep launching forward and then i would slow down a little bit because i don't want to lose my racing buddy but uh you know some things have to come to an end and my girlfriend kind of got tired of being in the race and she's like can we just lose him already and i was just like i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it so i uh, still in sport mode my car just launched and from going like around 110 at a constant rate which honestly boosted up my mpg i don't know why i was just like i'm gonna go i'm gonna go so i just like launched even faster and i was going at what 150 when i lost the dude because it was a straightaway lane uh because i was in the carpool lane and a lot of people weren't in the carpool lane because they didn't have two or more people on the road with them which you know the cops really don't check about the carpool lane unless you get caught so 
I luckily had somebody else in the car with me, so I could go on the carpool lane. The other dude, not so ever, so not not so fortunate. So we we're just like going through the carpool lane, and this man, he, I, I lost him after the 30 mile mark. Yeah, the race was lasting 30 miles, which only was like, what, a couple minutes for us because we were going at this constant speed. And it was kind of sad losing my racing buddy because I miss him. I miss him. So if you're out there and you found me on Twitter or you found my YouTube, you know, let me know where you at. We could do this again on the expressway because I'm not going to do it on the public streets because that's even more dangerous. So, yeah, uh, I lost him at around Fort Lauderdale. So from West Palm to Fort Lauderdale, that's when I started losing him and he just disappeared. So if you're out there, buddy, I miss you. And that was a fun race. GG, no re. And I wish we kind of raced for gas money because I, I wasted so much gas during that little race. So I hope you guys did enjoy the story. If you guys did enjoy the story, please drop a like. And don't forget to click that subscribe button for more enjoyable, pleasing content. And I will be seeing you guys next time. Peace.